Thank you for joining me for this edition of Genuine Diamonds in AR YouTube channel. We are here at the Crater of Diamonds State Park in the East Drainage area. That's to the left as you get to the end of the sidewalk after you go through the Visitor Center and the Diamond Discovery Center you turn left and you come down to the East Drain. I found the majority of my 177 diamonds here at the park in this east drainage area. I like it because so much of the field drains to this area. Uh, we've got water flowing here today. It's not always a babbling brook. But we had 10 inches of snow that melted. And that equaled a little less than 1 inch of rain. And then after that 10 inches of snow melted... We got 2.8 inches of hard rain last night and this morning. It's now 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday, February 26, 2021. We're taking a look at the geology here, see what we can learn about the east drain. We've got water running down from all portions of the field, funneling down into this area. Here's a nice conglomerate I like. It's uh, naturally cemented jaspers. Uh, this is a big piece of lamperite. If you notice the colors kind of a uh, brownish green. And I want to point out there are a lot of different colors of lamperite. Uh, this is very green lamperite. I hope the color comes through for you but if anybody tells you there's only one color of diamond bearing lamperite, don't believe them. They don't know what they're talking about. Here, here's another piece. It's a free floating boulder of lamperite uh, and it's sitting on some green lamperite. So different colors mix in here. And this uh, hard black looking lamperite is magmatic olivine lamperite and it does not contain diamonds but all the other lamperite does this one is almost two-tone see the different colors in it uh, if we come over here and look at this bank where water is washing in you get different colors over here and then here's a real green lamperite as well but this is fascinating to me how everything washes down see before I talk about that let me point out see this is a real green lamperite and here's a brown lamperite right here because the difference in colors is <laughs> there was not one volcanic event that brought the diamonds to the surface here geologists say there were numerous pyroclastic events and that seems to be true by the different colors that are here. Here is a blue lamperite on the left, which looks pretty cool. And this is a greenish brown. And this is a greenish here. So just in one short area, there's different colors of the molten rock mixed together. Now, I like this spot real well for gravel. There could be a diamond caught in this pocket that washed down when it was raining 2.8 inches of rain last night and this morning. And diamonds could wash down with the other rocks and get trapped in the bottom here. So that would be a really good pocket to dig out because this is hard, hard pan, solid, and over there and there, this is a solid bowl. The diamonds would get in and can't climb back out because diamonds don't have legs. So really all this gravel in here would be good to scoop up and wash. I like everything that comes down this waterfall here and drops into this pocket. And uh, it's a waterfall. And just like gold, gold is found at the bottom of a waterfall. Here we have another waterfall. And there's a whirlpool going on here. Just a real slow, if you watch the bubbles, things are going around in a circle here. And the diamonds drop in. And no telling how deep that is, but I'm not going to step in there and find out. But this is really a cool spot right now with the, the water washing down in three different places here right now. Well, this has kind of stopped flowing, but you can tell it was flowing last night. You know, even this gravel here would be good to catch. 
But anywhere that the water loses its velocity, its pushing power, diamonds can drop out in there with the other gravel. So uh, all this looks good to me for diamonds. And I just love the East Drain. Like I say, I've found 177 diamonds so far, and most of them are from the East Drain area. Look here at the different colored bands of lamprite. This is all brown lamprite, but you've got a light brown mixed with dark brown. And see how it's banded? It goes in lines along there. Very interesting to look at. There, you know, it goes clear across, spans this entire creek or ditch or drain. And it's, it's banded in different colors of uh, diamondiferous lamprite. Um, I want to show you a diamond that I found near here. This is, uh, let me straighten my ring out, um, a 62 point white naturally heart shape. You can see heart shape if I turn my hand around. But um, I had it mounted. It has not been cut or polished. This is just the way it looked when I found it. And I just had a jeweler put three prongs in a men's nugget ring to hold it on there. And uh, that was years ago and I haven't lost it. So uh, anyway, well, I've lost the entire ring a couple of times that I found it again. But uh, the diamond has not fallen out of the setting is what I mean to say. So anyway, 62 point white heart shaped diamond. There, I say 62 points, there's uh, only 3 points on that diamond, but it weighs 62 points. In other words, almost two-thirds of a carat, because there are 100 points of weight per carat. The points are just a unit of measure. So look at the different color of lamprite just laying right here, side by side. And the majority of the lamprite in the crater of diamonds is diamond bearing but this uh, hard black magmatic olivine lamprite is not diamondiferous see these hard chunks here that hasn't weathered because it resists weathering the other lamprite like you saw the grooves going down through the lamprite it will weather and erode but this hard magmatic resist weathering and that's fine really that's the way you want it um, you might as well <laughs> if you can only have it one way you want the diamond bearing lamprite to erode and release the diamonds that are inside of it and you don't care if the stuff that has no diamonds erodes or not and that's what uh, these big hard chunks are in here for the most part uh, I told you conglomerate was uh, naturally cemented jaspers. Well, this piece is not conglomerate. This is concrete, man-made. They took jaspers and cemented it together with uh, sand and Portland cement. But that is not that is not a natural uh, concrete. But most of the pieces you find in here are a natural conglomerate and make a pretty good specimen for carrying home. But don't even try to carry this one out. It is 100 pounds and it's man-made. Um, we are just downstream from the Strawn Wagner sign. That indicates where Shirley Strawn found a 3.03 carat white that was so pure when they had it cut to a 109 round brilliant. It scored 000, was perfect in cut, color, and clarity and it was over a carat so it was a very valuable diamond and that's on display in the visitor center here at the crater of diamond state park in their museum they're right by the museum so anyway we're just uh taking a look at the geology and the the rocks and the way things wash and flow here at the crater of diamonds and uh, if you want a target spot, try to get here after a rain and before other people get in here and clean out these uh, natural traps where diamonds could collect. Thanks for joining me and check back for other new videos.